Polanski. Here. Samantha Seta. Kelly Gallo. Here. Kayla Hill. Taylor Buchek. Here. Dr. Tamiko Worldlow Williams. Arthur Petrie. Here. Welcome back, everyone. I just want to hope everybody has had a great 
summer and it's ready to hit the ground running. Um, we have had some scuffles, but we will be <coughs> up and running soon enough. And President's Treasurer meetings will be happening uh, soon enough. So more for me coming sh in the short, short week that is like about two weeks. Thank you.
million science and tech rock science. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure that the wrong to combine those are even part of I don't know anything about that. That wasn't mentioned, but. Um, no. <coughs> so they don't have all of those. I'm not positive, though. Um, also, <clears throat> the freshman class is up for the first time in five years. It's a slight, very slight increase, but increase nonetheless. Um, he didn't give a direct percentage, he just said that there was a slight increase in freshman enrollment. Um, so that's good. Um, I think we're modernizing, um, moderni <clears throat> modernizing the uh, curriculums. Uh, Social, he announced that social work, the uh, country average for passing their final test, state test, is like 81%. I thought Rick's students had 96%, so the social work there. Um, same thing with the nursing rate. I think last year the nursing, uh, the whatever their uh, test is, I can't remember it. Um, the national pass rate for that was 86. Last year Rick had like a 95. And this year they had a 99% pass rate. So um, uh, he said that a lot of our uh, uh, courses here are doing great on um, the uh, beating the state average for pass rate. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else for some of the Any questions? If you don't have anything now, you can ask me later. Send me email. This is uh, this is from Haley Pro. Um, last year's condition and service uh, by the WC group. Um, and she this was her uh, <coughs> um, <coughs> her to make this report and she turned it in after the last parliament meeting. So I just wanted everybody to have it so they could look over it. Um, I don't know if I can answer any questions preferably on it. Um, but <clears throat> I don't have uh, a lot of knowledge on this. I read it through it. It's pretty self explanatory. Um, but I just wanted everybody to have a copy of this um, so that you guys all have the knowledge of it. Um, I would also like to make a motion for a uh, lady for uh, representative. Uh, okay, so I will Thank you. 
issue on campus can be addressed. Um, definitely, I think the Whipple Hall needs to be addressed as well. So I, I like the fact that these things are concerns that I see myself um, noticing, but I'm seeing that also the rest of the campus feels the same. Way. So I really appreciate it. Knowing that I'm still Any more questions?
So, I have obviously there's only two members here who don't already hold the position. So, if you're interested um, in running for that, and anybody watching who wants to be on Parliament interested in running for that, you can sign up anytime between tomorrow and Friday at 6.
The last time the prices went up were in 2017. Last year, the prices were scheduled to go up. And correspondingly, we, we did raise the uh, dollar allotment. Uh, a last minute decision by a previous vice president stopped that price increase. In the last two years, we've really experienced a lot of uh, increases in prices. And they go right across the board, whether it be utilities, food costs, staff increases, student labor increases. So we've got hit very, very hard, and the need came to increase the prices. I want everybody here to hear from me how those prices came about. I spent a great deal of time over the summer watching what's on people's trays. Take my old calculator to a little now. Doing a schedule, not going to tell The price increases that we have now, we're done. Um, I want to say judiciously. I do not want to raise the prices, and I know nobody wants to experience price increases. But they were in fact needed. At the same time, um, we also changed some of the items that we have. At no time did we decrease portion size, or decrease quality, or decrease the amount of options. After all of that process was done, I went back and I said, look, being a former uh, being a graduate who had to go to school during the day and at night, had to work eight hours, I still have scars from which I need to see my car to find quarters so I could go to the McDonald drive through. I know what it's like. We turned around and I got permission to uh, print some value combos. As a result of those, and the value combo was simple, at the deli, at the salad, at the entree line, if you grab um, uh, something at the grill line or something in the grab and go area, you can turn around, add up to a 20 ounce soda in a bag of chips for another 59. On top of that, I've changed the contracts. We have 100% pure, pure juice uh, in, the, in the juice machines. And I reduced the price for the soda and the juice in the dispenser. Some prices didn't go up. Um, but I know some prices did. I wanted the body to know from me that it was a hard decision. Um, take a lot of grief for it. I started off two weeks ago. I was seven foot two. And by the time the semester's over, I'm going to be about three feet tall. But I really, if anybody has a question or concern, please see me. Uh, there are a lot of options out there, and uh, I'd be happy to help you. That being said, we also spent quite a bit of time this summer looking at different procurement opportunities and strategies so that future price increases won't be to the degree we have. Uh, staff has provided training, a different type of culinary training, um, customer service training, food safety training, norovirus training, um, allergy, blood-borne pathogen training. We've received uh, briefings from the Vice President of Student Success as well as the Vice President of Administration and Finance. One of the changes you may or may not be aware of, 100% of the machines right now should be operable and bonus points can be used on it by residents, in addition to anybody that has dining dollars. Uh, that includes the machines down at the Nursing Education Center. Uh, the Nursing Education Center has got a unique set of great students, especially those in the residents. Uh, I'm working with them right now to add at least four more machines down there and maybe some other creative opportunities. Last but not least, and I know it's not that important, but I do want to say, um, I've been trying for about a year and a half. We have Tap TV trivia now in the dining room, food down room. Place and tribute. Uh, the student community government was kind enough many years ago to donate some um, uh, chess checker backhand and domino with 10 tables for the old gallery. Gallery Cafe is closed. Um, it's been transitioned to anchor, uh, student bedding lounge. The hours have increased. There's now a, a bedding package up there that can be used from 7 a.m. in the morning to 9 a.m. at night, 7 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the weekend. My goal is if it's well used, we will invest a little bit, put uh, some swipe access there, and also a camera, not to spy on people, but just so people have a sense of uh, security there if you would, and be able to open it 24 hours. Um, I mentioned the 
tables. We just have just a small game area. I shouldn't say game, chess, chapter, back in the area, second floor down, and people can come in, have their free popcorn, go up and, and sign up some, um, some chess pieces. I'm sorry, it's been a long week. But really, the takeaway is there have been some changes. There's been some good and bad changes. The ones that affect people the most are prices go up. If anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to try to address them. Um, I just have one question. You guys used to make your own dressings, like this lemon honey mint. What happened to that? We still have it. We still make it. I haven't answered yet. I don't mind that way. It's not okay. That is the house dressing. Huh? That is the house dressing for power bay. That's why I'm like, wait, where is it at? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Okay. It may not have the prominence that the house dressing has, but I'm pretty no, sure. That's okay. Um, no, but I'm pretty sure it's in that same area, but I will check out. Okay, so
Thank you. 